Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a makeup tutorial. I am super super excited because I love makeup. I am going to show you step by step how to create a holiday glam look. So I hope you're interested because I have tips and tricks for you in how to use your products. So I hope you'll stick around and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, let's get started. I am so, so excited for this. So we're gonna moisturize, we're gonna do everything from scratch, and then I have some tips for you along the way. So let's get this holiday makeup look going. I'm gonna moisturize my lips first, and of course I'm gonna be using the Laneige Lip Mask because this is everything. I just love it. But then I'm gonna go in with the uh, Bobbi Brown repair moisturizing balm this is awesome but this is a very rich and heavy moisturizer i love this because this is amazing for this time of year so if you do have very very dry skin this will feel amazing it's literally like a balm there it hydrates it repairs it sits really really well under makeup it smells really really good um, I really really like it a little bit goes a long way you don't have to use much but this is a fantastic moisturizer now our skin is prepped ready to go I'm gonna go in with foundation I sometimes do my eyes first I like to do that on my clients especially on brides I always start with their eye makeup first because if we want to change anything if there's any shadow fallout it's so much easier to clean the mess or to change anything or to correct anything if you do not have a base on so I like to do that but for today's video, I am going to apply my foundation first. I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation. You guys already know that I am obsessed with this Kosas foundation. I talked about it on Instagram. I, I love it. It is a fantastic foundation. It's something that I have not experienced in a foundation before. It is dewy, it is um, light, it gets coverage, it's long lasting. It does not feel like a foundation. It's beautiful. I, I truly truly love it so I'm gonna apply in the center of my face and then I'm gonna blend it out I do not like foundation all over I like I said I don't like the feeling of foundation either I don't want to create a mask I just want everything to be seamless and beautiful and natural so when you focus in the center part of the face and you blend it towards the perimeter that's gonna be more natural and that's gonna look more natural in real life too so I'm gonna apply a little bit of this I hope Alexander doesn't wake up I'm gonna use this it is easier to control how much product I'm putting onto my face I'm gonna dab it And I think this is the first foundation that I love blending with my fingers. And then I like to go in with the beauty blender, but for some reason, this foundation, it just, it blends beautifully with your fingers. We want more coverage in the center part of the face because that's the area where we usually have more visible pores, more pigmentation, more redness, more little veins. So that's why we focus on the center part. It is so creamy and it has such a great texture. I just love it. Fantastic product. I have not even used it all. Like I said, you do not need much that I'm gonna add. I like to build my foundation. It is easier to control it this way instead of putting too much on. Um, I like to take it step by step. I do not recommend you take your foundation all the way up under your eyes because we're gonna apply concealer there and there's no point to just cake up products especially if you are over 30 we have fine lines there it is a very thin area 
it creases easily you see all the little creases so there's no point in adding foundation and then topping it off with concealer if you do just be very very light with concealer so I've already taken my foundation a little too far but that's okay because I'm just gonna do a little bit of concealer or focus or on where I need more coverage under my eyes this sits beautifully under your eyes so this might be enough for you you might not even need concealer if you do not have a lot of uh, pigmentation under your eyes now when you spread your foundation right we're taking it outwards the perimeter of the face but then you want to blend it over your ears i see a lot of brides in pictures or you know bridesmaids in pictures and they have red ears and their face is flawless and perfect and they have red or different colored ears than their face make sure you blend it over your ears and then you take it down towards your neck now we're gonna do the eyebrows. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. My eyebrow, my eyebrows are microbladed and I love them so much, but I still like to go over them with a little bit of product. And of course, my favorite product for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. She has fantastic products. Now, a little tip for you, because this is what's happening to my uh, product right now. It's on its last leg, so I'm running low on this product this is the medium brow dip brow pomade and it's getting a little dry if you do have this problem I recommend you add two drops of visine or any eye solution of your choice to the product and then blend it with a brush and then it's just gonna transform and it's gonna be like brand new it gets a little harder especially when you run low um, it gets it dries out in time because you open up this product so much and again in time it loses the moisture so it dries up a little bit doing this you're gonna put the moisture back in and you're gonna help the product uh, be more manageable and creamier I'm gonna use this. I like to start under my eyebrows. Do you see how perfect this is? It just goes on so, so smoothly. I like to shape up my eyebrows a little bit and then whatever is left of my brush, I bring it in and I just mimic hair strokes, just like that. So it looks a little more natural. I don't like them too square out in the middle. I like them a little more feathery and natural. So that's what I'm. That's why I am doing these uh, hair strokes. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of concealer on my eyelids as an eye primer. If you do not have an eye primer, you don't have to run to the store and buy yourself one. You can just use your concealer and blend it out because that's gonna create a perfect canvas. It's gonna neutralize your eyelid color and it's gonna keep your eyeshadow in place. Now, we're gonna be using a My Favorite palette because I've been obsessed with this. I've included it in some of my other videos and this is so great. This is the ColourPop that's taupe palette it's, it is only $14 and it is a fantastic palette so we're gonna work with this this is a perfect holiday palette beginner friendly super easy to blend just a beautiful product so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a bigger blending brush I'm gonna mix these two shadows together these are a perfect uh, crease color Tap. Don't blow on your brush, please, because you're going to blow a lot of bacteria on your brush and you do not want that. Just tap gently. Now, if you are over 30, I recommend you go a little bit higher in your crease with this product. Why? Because when you open up the eyes, you want to see what's going on. And you want to see a little bit more definition. And not only that, but you're making your eyes a little bit bigger and whiter. 
So let me explain. My crease is right here. I'm just gonna blend up. I'm gonna bring it in and go up towards the eyebrow. Instead of just focusing in placing the color in my crease and just doing the windshield wipers motion, back and forth motion, I'm actually going to place it in and just take it up and blend it gently, super soft. We do not want to put a lot of pressure because again, if you are over 30, you do not want to create more wrinkles or fine lines. That's why I like to use a bigger brush for this step, a fluffier brush. The key is if you want your makeup to look like it was professionally done, that it is airbrushed, that it's flawless, it involves a lot of blending. This is the key. This is the difference between a makeup artist and a beginner. It's the blend. You have to blend a lot. You have to start light and build and add some more and blend some more. A little bit above the crease and blending up. And at the end, I like to sweep it towards the eyebrow. Um, so again, that's gonna give me that lifted eye. My eyes are getting droopier, so I want that lifted eye look. Now we're gonna change the brush, but use the same exact shades. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. This is a MAC 217. And I'm just gonna go right into my crease. And now I'm just gonna be focusing on my crease, blending that color in. That's gonna give me depth. So same thing, same shadows. Now I'm not gonna blend up, I'm just gonna go left and right. You're gonna see it's gonna create more dimension, like 3D kind of look. Even though I'm using the same exact shade, it's gonna appear darker. We, we can create depth by placing the color in the right way or in the right area and also by using a different color. So now I'm going to go in with a darker brown. I'm going to create that liner look but with an eyeshadow. You can turn any eyeshadow into a liner by using a little bit of a setting spray, any setting spray of your choice. I'm using the Urban Decay Old. Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna spray it onto the brush, get the brush a little wet, and then I'm gonna dip it into my brown. And I like to press the sides in too. I'm gonna test it on my hand. It is a perfect shade for me. And now I'm gonna use it as a liner. And this is how you turn your eyeshadow into a liner. Super, super easy. Now I'm going to blend this liner. I'm going to use a very dense brush. This is perfect for packing the color and also creating more depth. I'm creating a V on the outer corner of my eye. And now I'm going to blend it. Again, going back to blending. Now I'm going to take the bigger brush and I'm just going to blend some more. Whatever is left on the angle brush, I'm going to use on the, my uh, bottom lashes. Halfway in. I'm not going to go all the way in. That's going to close the eye. Just halfway. So we're going to blend it. And we're gonna bring it up. Now, I'm gonna go in with my favorite shadow, and it's this guy right here. This is a pressed pigment, beautiful. It's just so luminous, it has a little bit of glitter, glitter it's not chunky, and I'm just gonna use my finger. You can build this eyeshadow and I like to take it a little bit higher so then again when I open the eye you can see what's going on on my eyelid. Now I'm going to take a, a brush and I'm just going to blend it lightly. 
You have to be very careful when you use shadows that have glitter or press pigments because when you go over them with a the brush, you're actually going to take that shine away slightly. So you have to make sure you're very, very gentle when blending so you don't want to disturb the shadow too much. If you do, that's no problem. You can, you can go back in and add some more. Now I'm going to go in with mascara. I'm going to be using the Ilia mascara. Now with the mascara, you want to create and build from the bottom. So you're going to zigzag the brush onto your lashes from the bottom. That's going to create the base. It's going to create the illusion that you have really thick lashes and the base is really, really thick. And that's where we want the color to be really intense. So zigzag and then lift. Or you can actually close your eyes on the brush. All right, this is already better, right? Now let's go in with concealer. And I think today I'm gonna to be using the uh, Naked, uh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I like it because it's light, but it has coverage and it's long lasting. So this is a good concealer. Then I'm gonna place it in my inner corner first right here like I said I already brought my foundation let it look too high so I don't want to go over that too much and right here I'm gonna do a couple of dots because we want to again lift the eye around the nose around the lip wherever you need coverage I do not have a lot of pigmentation under my eyes. It's, I've always been like this. Uh, when I am tired, I get puffy, but there's not a lot of pigmentation under my eyes. So I don't need to go in a triangle shape or go over my eyes, uh, under my eyes with a lot of concealer. Perfect. Now, I love cream products for my face. My skin is a little dry. It's on the drier side. It's normal to dry. So I love cream products for my skin. Now I'm going to go in with a beautiful cream bronzer. This is the Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer. This is fantastic. I just love it. So I'm going to go in with um, this brush. You need to use a synthetic brush for cream products. And again, I'm going to go a little higher with my placement. Now, if you feel like you blended too much or um, it's not even, right? You can always go in with your foundation brush or your beauty blender and sculpt some more or blend the edges more, make it a little softer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go in. Just make sure we're pretty even and the bronzer, it's placed in the same area on my face. Okay, for my blush, I'm gonna use a cream blush, obviously. This is a beautiful pale pink. It's such a pretty pink. This is from Glossier. Only not for the blush, but like that. Same brush, the one that I used for my cream contour. Just gonna tap it. This is very like it's an angelic pink. I like to call it. So you can smile, out both of your cheeks, and then sweep it back. This is a cool toned pink. Um, I like cool toned um, blushes for myself, for my personal use, because I have a lot of warmth in my skin. My skin has a lot of um, yellow and olive. And so I need a blush that's a little more contrasty and it just doesn't blend into my skin. And so that's why I love cool tone blushes for myself. I don't know, I used this the other day and I loved it. This is the NYX Mosaic Powder. So why I liked it so much is because it has different shades in here. One of them is a highlight, one of them is a bronzer, one of them is a deeper pink, but they are all cool tones. So I'm just gonna 
see it has like a little bit of shine too and this is gonna be my blush slash highlight I don't want to do a lot of um, highlight on my face so this is just enough for me another tip I have for you you can use your blush to tighten up your eyeshadow look so what I like to do, I like to use a little bit of this blush and add it into my crease. And that's going to define or kind of bring out the eye look even more. So I'm going to look straight, just go a little higher. I don't know, I just does something and I love it. So now I am going to be applying my lipstick and this is my favorite part. I love this color. This is the lip stain from Sephora color number one. This is the most wanted red I feel like. And even if you wear red on red, try to match your reds so they're not so off. So think of this, if you have like a cool tone blouse or a cool tone dress, pick a cool tone red lipstick. Same thing if you're wearing something a little bit more orangey, try to go with the same kind of lipstick as well. So you could do a lip liner, but I won't because it's just, this is so creamy. Make sure you go all the way in, into the little corners. So there's no discrepancy. You could always add a little bit of concealer under your lip to perfect it even more. I really like the look. I think it's sultry. I think it's holiday glam. And I'm gonna set it in place. This is, again, the All Nighter Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This smells great and it set everything in place. Nothing will move. I hope you guys liked how it turned out. Let me just do my hair, let me put my rings, earrings on, and I'll be right back. And there you have it, my holiday-inspired makeup look. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you did, and also if you'd like to see more videos like that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!